third Methodist. one. What? Methodist. Yeah. <laughs> that that's a that's a good question. The see Witnesses. the reason Methodists, you know, Methodists. Some are believers. Many are not. Well, the thing it's is, a very liberal church. The thing right now. is, David. You guys are really getting flustered here. No, no we're not. Jehovah's no, we're not, David. The Come thing on, is, let's go with this. The the groups you're bringing up, they're all bound by their doctrine and their laws. <laughs> and the, yeah. and what we believe in is that Christ only is the way. They believe that their church is the way. That's what makes us different. Whereas Methodists don't believe that the church is the way in general. They believe that Jesus is the way, but they've got a kind of a, a very liberal way now, most Methodists, of looking at Jesus. You know, they, they accept um, homosexuality is acceptable lifestyle. The Bible's clear that is not. It's a sin. But there are some Methodists that disagree with that, mm -hmm. just like there's some Episcopalians, even though the majority seem moving towards that, towards falsity in, in religion. How are the Lutherans doing? A mix as well. Same thing. A mix. But you know, Jesus wants us to have a relationship with him, so it's always one-on-one, -on -one, each person with God. It's not the religion, the institution. It's the personal relationship. Okay, so an Islamic person could have a great relationship with God and not be off track. An Islamic person? Yeah. They don't believe that Jesus is the only way to God, that he died for our sins. They don't believe that. How about Catholics? Catholics preach a different gospel. The Vatican II docu documents state that Mary continues to bring us the eternal gifts of salvation. That's a different gospel. <laughs> How about rock and roll artists? Some of them are neat. I like their music. I even like some of Satan's music. Ooh, it's cool. I mean, Satan is talented in the area of music, in, in making instrumental sound. Some are not demonized. Some are, but many are, and so what? It's a mix. How about United Nations members? United Nations what? Members. United Nations I, I don't members. know them. I, I, I don't know them. I don't know <laughs> enough of the members to say one way or the other. Probably a mix. I think that's a lot more than three, though. So then, what you're saying is contradicting what you were saying. Yeah, earlier, you know, David. What, what, why are what we're saying contra is contradictory? David, say it again. Why is what we're saying contradictory? Because you were putting down the members of the United Nations. Not all of we're them. Putting down the organization. The goals of the organization seem to be to have a one-world religion, just like a one-world government. We, we're against that. Okay, how about Judaism? I'm, I'm Jewish. Jesus is the completion of Judaism. He's the Messiah. So then they're on the right track or the wrong track? Anyone who doesn't accept Jesus as the only way to God, in Daniel chapter 7, way before Jesus came on the earth, it says that, one, a son of man comes before the Almighty, and there's dominion given to this son of man over all nations, over all tongues, over all peoples. Jesus came and called himself the son of man. He also called himself the son of God. But he was referring to that, and he referred to things like that all, all over the place. It's only through Jesus. That's it, because we are sinners, David, whether you recognize it or not, and that keeps us away from God. And Jesus took the penalty that God will exact on us if we are not willing to accept what he took for us, our punishment. Well, having grown up Catholic, I was taught that you needed to have a personal relationship with God and with Jesus. That's okay. good. So then the Catholics that you're poo-pooing are not necessarily a group thing. It's it's more of an individualized thing, correct? D D David, it's, it's more the institution. D Go ahead. It's more Roman Catholic. Go ahead, yeah. Did uh, the Catholic Church teach you about the sacraments? Yeah. And you have to perform those sacraments in order to do what? No, you need, the only thing you need to do to get to heaven is to be baptized in the Catholic Church. To be baptized in the Catholic Church? Right. What, we just telling what we're trying to um, portray what the Bible says, and you just need to be baptized to Jesus Christ. Well, that, that's fine. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's but see, the, here nor the there, Catholic church because says, if you're involved in a church, you're going to be baptized their way. Just like no. when I was involved in the Assembly of God, I was baptized the way they recommended I do it. So the way what, they what, recommend it. What, what does the that? Bible say about baptism? Well, you know, I'm, I'm asking you guys. You guys yeah, let, me, let me jump in here. David, sure. uh, Scripture is really clear. In Galatians, it says, if anyone comes preaching another gospel, and Paul talks about another Jesus in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, that there are false gospels, false Jesuses. Jesus said, many will come in my name. 
a it's a false gospel. The Roman Catholic Church, the institution, says that salvation comes through Mary. Well, it doesn't at all. Uh, and they preach a whole lot of, you know, in the fifth chapter of Galatians also, it says G the apostle Paul and all the apostles agreed that his writings of scripture, Peter and such, they all worked together. And they all knew Jesus. In Galatians, in chapter 5, Paul says that if you add anything to the gospel, Christ has become of no effect. If you add any works, see, the Jews had all these, I'm Jewish, you had a, the law was given that we might know that there are certain things that we can't do perfectly, and it all led to Jesus, according to Paul. It makes sense to me. And that's what the Apostle Paul teaches. If the Catholic Church diverges really from the apo apostles, wait, wait. if the Catholic Church diverges and contradicts what the apostles teach, which they do all over the place, Bill. they are preaching a false gospel because he knew more about it and Peter knew more about it than the than the guys who are living today. What about Timothy? Wasn't Paul Timothy's mentor? Yeah. Yeah. So? Okay, so then we're moving down the line, we're moving further into time, and we're adding books into the Bible. No, no, Paul wrote Timothy. Two, and it's First and Second two Timothy, Timothy were letters to Timothy. That's right. That's right. Excuse me. David, we well, thank you for your call, but Jay, you want to ask one more I, I question? I got one more or, question. And we want to run this film one segment. David, anyhow. in your Catholic upbringing, do you believe that Mary was an ever virgin? No, I don't, because Jesus had brothers. Right. I, I believe that she, you know, I, I, I personally don't necessarily believe one way or the other regarding the virgin birth. But well, what is I the... do believe that Jesus had brothers, and there's no mention of a virgin birth regarding those guys, but, so I would say right. no. But the Catholic organization would differ with you, and they argue that they're talking about cousins and not, and not brothers. And that that, that way Mary can remain a virgin. And that way you can pray to Mary, because she's without sin as well. Do you believe Mary is without sin? Do I believe Mary is without sin? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, sin is a sort of a nebulous concept. But, Not at all. I know you guys see it as black and white, and you. Well, can what do about that. the Ten Commandments? Are they nebulous to you? Yeah, I don't think we should be killing people in Iraq. What do you think about that? Hey, that's that's a political question. I don't even want to go there. But I, <laughs> I would say this. I would say don't look to Bush if you want to f find a philosophical spiritual truth. Read the Bible and look to Jesus. That's what I'd say. Speaks speaks to the country as a spiritual leader, doesn't Yeah, he but he may or may not be a Christian. There are many be people who, Jesus said, many, many will come to me in that day and he'll say, I never knew you. And I don't know where Bush is at, but we thank you for your call. Hey, by the way, if you want a copy of this program so that you can look at our answers and call us back and talk another time, email us and we'll send you uh, one, okay? I, uh, I know what you said. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks for calling, David. All right, you guys have fun. Thanks, David, and I would encourage David to examine the Bible about everything because Mary's, the Bible's very clear about Mary being a virgin when she gave birth to, to the Well, you have to look, to the, the, end, the last verse in Matthew, Matthew chapter one is pretty clear about um, that uh, Joseph knew her not till she gave birth to I'm Jesus. Right. And knew her in not fact, is, is a term I, I have for it right sexual me. intercourse from, from, from Genesis three and four. Yeah, four, in really. fact, we go two verses before that, Mike, and it says, behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, the interesting word, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her, Till she had brought forth her firstborn son, right. and, and he called it his name Jesus. And that and settles it for us. But let's run this first section of film. It's eight minutes or so, and we'll be back to talk to you after that.